Hi guys, um, today I'm going to talk you through setting up multiple virtual hosts um, on Ubuntu 12.10. Um, this is really handy if you use it um, as a development server and want to host more than one site. Um, in a previous video I've, I've run through installing PHP, MySQL and Apache, so take a look at that if you haven't done that already. Um, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get started with this. So first up, what we need to make sure is um, that you've got the Apache mod rewrite module enabled. Um, and you can do that by opening up a terminal with Control-Alt-T. Um, and just typing in sudo a to n mod rewrite. It'll ask me for my password. And I've already got it enabled. OK, so next up we need to create the folder for our new file. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a directory in var www. I'm just going to call it mysite.com and now I'm going to just create a quick index file so we can check that this actually works. I'm going to create an index.html file there and create a very quick HTML file. And just whack an h1 in. So my site.com works. Save that out and close it off. So, what I'm going to do now. Let's just go into Firefox and go to localhost forward slash mysite.com and there we go, the index file that I've just created. Cool, so now we need to make a couple of changes to the hosts file which you can do by using sudo get it etc slash hosts and you can see I've added, um, I've got a couple of entries in here already um, but I'm just going to go in here and add a new one so mysite.com save that out and close it cool so, so far so good um, now we want to um, conf actually configure Apache so again we're going to need to create a new file here so sudo get it etc apache2 sites available and mysite.com as that's the that's the site we've created so in here you want to type the following um, I'll put this in the description below so you don't have to actually type it okay so let's set the document root of var mysite.com give it a server name of um, mysite.com and a server alias Oops. of just my site dot com. Cool. Okay. Uh, one important thing to um, keep in mind is try not to leave any empty spaces after, because that can sometimes um, throw errors. Okay. So you want to save that file, and I'm just going to close that off. Okay. Now we need to enable these. Um, this site using the following command. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go sudo a to en site mysite.com and it's going to tell me that to activate the new configuration I just need to reload Apache which I'm going to do. So sudo service oops, Apache to reload. 
and now in Firefox we can get rid of localhost and just go to mysite.com and there we have it um, feel free to leave any questions in the comments below and subscribe for future videos cheers